So I was a student studying uh, computer science, getting my, my uh, master's degree. And the summer of 2013, I had an internship. I was working for a startup in Philadelphia doing programming. And I was, I was coding for hours and hours every day. And at some point, my hands just kind of like gave out. They just stopped working. And I was that horrible pain. And I couldn't, couldn't return to my, my classes that semester. So, well, I mean, I, I tried to for a week or so and then just dropped everything and started trying to find some help. So I, I went to a, a doctor first and uh, I was recommended to a, a physical therapist and, you know, cl closer to where I live. And the, the physical therapist was doing, I, I think, like, accurately diagnosed it, actually, as, you know, some sort of nerve impingement. And he knew that there needed to be some sort of, like, muscle muscle work and strengthening um, but it, it just it didn't get better um, so I, I kind of like I, I stuck with the initial diagnosis which I've learned is actually correct um, but I, I had to I had to jump around to a half dozen different people trying to trying to bring me back from it unsuccessfully until I found Saparna I can see why like somebody might consider it almost like borderline fringe, but what you have with RSI is like, an, like a misunderstood, underdiagnosed condition that a, a lot of people, like a, a lot of hand specialists, muscle specialists are not gonna be able to figure out what's wrong. And Saparna is kind of like pioneering the, I mean, she's, she's literally written the book on how to, how to address this issue and the reason that she she might not seem mainstream is because she's way above and beyond where where the mainstream is right now. It's probably like a more looking for the cause of of, of what's causing pain instead of like just going for the actual symptom. Like, you know, it hurts in my forearms. So okay, let me work on your forearms. It's all right. Let me start looking with the forearms. Let me find what could be causing it. Oh, it looks like this could lead me over here, and like she'll jump around and find like the actual root cause of of whatever is causing the symptoms. You walk in and the first thing she'll she'll do is she'll ask you what your symptoms are. She'll feel around. She knows, you know, you get like a little tapping thing when, when she first, do you feel this? No? Okay, tell me when you feel this. All right, yeah, and she'll, she'll move up your arm. She'll feel exactly how sensitive certain nerves are. Um, she'll know almost immediately what is wrong with you, whereas, you know, it'll, yeah, you know, it'll it'll take a, a lot of other doctors a few hours to not figure out what's wrong with you. From what I understand, a lot of physical therapists will um, try to shortcut. They'll try to avoid manual work as much as they can because it's not as lucrative. You get um, yeah, you know, where you can only have one. Per you can only work on one person at a time when you're using your hands. Um, whereas if you if you want to get paid, you you bring in a few different people simultaneously and you start them all working in parallel. Uh, which I've, I've had physical therapists that have done that, and that's why they've done it. So she'll have a plan. She'll tell you what what the problem is, so that you understand what's wrong, as she does. Uh, I'm back to playing the guitar. I play video games every now and again. Uh, I'm I'm still programming with voice dictation, but I could I can type if I need to. Um, yeah, and I'm able I'm able to do things I, I had to stop doing. If you can see Saparna, see Saparna. Uh, if for some reason you're unable to do that, um, get a get some sort of consultation from Saparna and get a plan. And if you can't do that, then I'm pretty much going to secondhand everything that Saparna told me, which is you know you have to you have to stretch, you have to get everything loose, you have to find a really good physical therapist that knows how to how to release tension to a point where you can you can really start to strengthen and get your get your abilities back. My, my sister had something similar to this. She sees a doctor and within like a 30 minute consultation he wants to operate on both of her arms simultaneously uh, which, which, which of course was, would not have helped at all. It would have been a disaster. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a part of seeing somebody now who had a similar kind of operation done to him. Like this, this is one of those conditions for which you don't necessarily want to just lean into what what your your physician says. I knew that I had found the right person on day one. By the 
by the time I had seen Saparna, I had already been to, like I said, like a dozen different physical therapists. You know, I walked in there thinking, yeah, you know, everyone, everyone has their blind spots. Everyone's going to miss some muscles. Um, but you now I knew immediately that I, I could feel, I, I could feel the right places being worked. Some knots that I'd never, never known of getting worked out. So I, I was, a, I was a believer pretty early on. So, so Parna really does, like a, her work is her passion and she knows that RSI and, and a lot of other um, muscle issues are their life size problems that they can be crippling. And she's able to empathize with these people and realize that she does something that she loves doing and she knows that it has this, this huge effect on people's lives. So she, she reaches out as, as well as she can. Uh, she's, she reaches out, she's looking to teach, that's why she wrote her book, that's why she's shooting this video. She wants, she wants, to, she wants to share what she's found. And like I said, she's pioneering this, this, this field a lot and you know, she wants people to know.